this. You are not alone. This is the resistance. What's up everyone? This is the leader of the resistance. If you are watching this, you are the resistance. Tonight, I'm at the San Jacinto, California's Regal Cinemas. You know, it's a local movie theater franchise that we have out here in California. If you live in California, you know what the fuck I'm talking about. But, naturally, as you can probably guess, I'm here to talk about the Dark Knight shootings that took place last night. Uh, this morning, I went and saw The Dark Knight Rises. Badass movie. I really enjoyed it. But, it's getting a lot of negative feedback thanks to this guy and his little escapade last night in Colorado. Which really doesn't make a lot of fucking sense, if you ask me. Because... This guy, a 24-year-old college student, I think he was a med school student even, no history of mental illness, no criminal record, this guy's squeaky fucking clean, and just up one day decides, oh, I'm going to go blow everybody away at a movie theater, and then tell everybody I was a joker. You know, I, I don't believe that shit for a minute. You know, you're going to sit here and try to feed me that a 24-year-old college student has got everything freaking going for him, is going to load up on ammunitions and smoke grenades and all that stuff that's fair, which a lot of the shit he had is relatively hard to get, especially in Colorado where the gun laws are outrageous, and I know this because I've got a friend who lives out in Colorado, so I, I know what the gun laws are out there, I get around. You're going to tell me that all these things are a fact, with all these things being a factor, that he's just some loon whose cheese slipped off his cracker? No way. No freaking way. I mean, one, like I said, you know, med school shit, he's got a lot going for him. Why is he going to just up and do this? Two, the media is reporting that he acquired over the past two months the past 60 days prior to last night's shooting, a whole mess of ammunition for four separate firearms and accumulated tear gas grenades and all kinds of other shit? No way! And all this done over the internet. With the Patriot Act, that's gonna that's gonna throw up a big red flag. No way was that a legit shooting. That had to be New World Order based. This has got New World Order written all over it. Just like Oklahoma City, just like 9-11. It's all New World Order bullshit to take away our rights and our Second Amendment, especially with their Gun Control Act that they're reviewing next week in the UN. I mean, come on, what a big coincidence. We're going to review this bill, which is teetering on the edge of failure, and all of a sudden, just poof, out of nowhere, some guy goes nuts, thinks he's the Joker, and blasts up a movie theater. Eh, wrong. I call bullshit. I am calling bullshit all the way around. And, you know, if he was legit, and this was had nothing to do with the New World Order, look at all the prior shootings and bad things that have happened, like Oklahoma City, 9-11, that shooting just a couple years ago where that guy shot that congresswoman. Hell, even Columbine. All involving people that had reasons. Granted, they weren't good reasons, but they had legitimate reasons. Like the kids at Columbine, they were sick of being picked on. And then tonight, you got this shooting in a movie theater? Why'd you do it? Oh, I think I'm the Joker. <laughs> Come on. No bullshit. And if he was legit and psycho, why did he go and tell the police like it's reported in the media on Yahoo and ABC that he told the cops that his place was booby trapped and tripwires and all that shit? It doesn't make any sense. If this guy's twacked out, shot up a movie theater, thinking he's the fucking Joker, he's not gonna tell the cops that hey, my place is wired. No. He's going to let them find out the hard way and get their asses blown up. I mean, come on. 
it, it doesn't make sense. You're going to booby track your place and you're going to go through all that effort. And you're not going to tell them. And if this guy's as whacked out as the media is portraying him to be, I, I don't see how he's that with it to actually sit there and go through all the detailed schematics and whatnot of booby trapping this apartment like that. There's, there's just no way. If it was a random shooting, okay, whatever. But there's no way he sat there and took the time and booby trapped the apartment just to turn around to tell the cops saying, hey, I booby trapped my apartment. No way. Not gonna happen. No, 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 no. And you notice with this anti-gun bill in the works for next week, the second this happened, the media and the government was all over it with their anti-gun new order propaganda like they always are. You know, with every tragedy, they're always right there going, guns are bad, this and that, blah, 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 blah. Well, screw that. Do they really think we're that fucking stupid? Come on. But next on my agenda, and I'm going to actually cover this in another video, was the Alex Jones bash on movies and media. You know, granted, he made a lot of points. But I'm going to bring up some points here. But I'm not going to release that video until next week because it's going to go into some details about The Dark Knight Rises and I want to give people time to see the movie because I know some people out there probably haven't seen it yet and would be relatively pissed off if I went and spoiled the movie for them. So I'm not going to do that. I'll wait about a week to post the video covering the details on that. So until then... This is the leader of the resistance. If you're watching this, you are the resistance. You can hear this. You are not alone. This is the resistance.